Stretching some 3,000 kilometers from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico, the Mississippi is a valuable friend, a transporter of goods and people. Like any great river, it can also unleash terrible destruction. For 50 years, the United States Army Corps of Engineers has had the task of developing, maintaining, and improving the nation's waterways. Another task, trying to control floods. At Vicksburg, Mississippi, the engineers have built the world's largest hydraulics laboratory. Here can be found a scale model of the Mississippi and of every major waterway in the United States. Here the effects of wind and water currents are studied under precise laboratory conditions. Scale models of bridges have been constructed. The models are used to test existing structures and also proposed projects to see how well they will withstand the forces of nature. All possible water conditions can be duplicated in scale. Currents, tides, even wave actions. Engineers can create conditions for any specific day or over the cycle of an entire year. Electronic data from the experiments is gathered from sensors and fed into a computer for analysis. Conclusions from the data provide valuable predictive information for areas all over the country. Floods are a problem in many countries. Engineers come from all over the world to take courses in and study the latest methods of hydraulic engineering. This is a model of Niagara Falls. This model study was sponsored by the Buffalo, New York district, and it's built to a scale of one foot is equal to 60 feet vertically and the three... A model of Niagara Falls was built to study the withdrawal of water from the river and the falls for hydroelectric use. Water runs over the falls at a rate of 1.2 million liters per second, making it the largest single source of hydroelectric power in the world. The information gathered here at Vicksburg will help engineers throughout the world better understand the forces of nature and control the awful devastation caused by floods.